Now put your hands together for my brother, Apostle Kiande, as we come here to minister to the glory of the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray the name of Jesus. Bwana Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Praise the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, na wasanii katika jina la Bwana Yesu. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sinione mkono kama unao. I want to see your hand if you have one. If you have an arm, let me see it up. Ah, uh, si kuweza kuja na mke wangu leo. I could not come with my wife. I didn't bring my wife with me today. Lakini nimekuja na binti yangu. But I came with my daughter. Salimia mkono kama unao. <laughs> and you can greet people if you have a hand raised uh, up and up. Sana. Amen. Basi ni siku ya baraka. Today is the day of uh, great blessing. Leo ngoja nijikumbushe Kiswahili. Today I want to go back to my roots. I want to remind myself preaching Swahili. Na uh, ni baraka kweli kweli. And it's going to be a blessing. Lakini niko na kaka yangu hapa nadhani mambo yote yako sawa. I have my brother by my side and everything will be all right. Basi tutasoma kitabu cha Esther. We are going to read from the book of Esther. Sura ya 6. Ah uh, chapter number 6. Nisomee mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 9. Esther 6:1-9. The Bible says that night the king could not sleep, so one of the command uh, one commanded to bring the book of the records of the chronicles and they were read before the king and it was found written that Mordecai had told uh, Bigathan and Teresh two of the king's eunuchs the doorkeeper who had sought to lay hands on king Ahasuerus then the king said what honor and dignity um, has been uh, bestowed to Mordecai for this and the king's servant who attended his he said nothing has been done for him so the king said who is in the court now Haman had just entered the outer court of the king's palace to suggest that the king's hang hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him the king's servant said to him Haman is there standing in court and the king said let him come in so Haman came in and the king asked him what shall be done for a man whom the king delights to honor now Haman thought it his in his heart who would the king delight to honor more than me and Haman answered and the king for the man whom the king delight to honor let a royal robe be brought which the king has worn and the horse on which the king has ridden and which has a, a royal crest placed on his head then let his robe and horse be delivered to the hands of one of the king's most noble uh, noble princess uh, that he may array the man whom the king delights to honor then they parade him on the horseback through the city square and they proclaim before him thou shall it be done to the man whom the king delights to honor amen amen msingi kabisa kwenye msari wa sita the foundation of this scripture is on verse number 6 hapo anaposema basi haman yakaingia Where it said that then Haman came in. Mfalme akamu, akamuambia, and the king said to him. Afanyiwe nini mtu yule ambaye mfalme apenda kumheshimu? What shall be done to the man that the king delights? Hii habari ukisoma toka hapo mwanzo. When you read this story from the beginning, utakuwa umepata picha vizuri ya jambo hili. You get an overview of the whole scenario. Na leo swali langu ni hili. And today my question is this. Mtu akifanya jambo zuri. If somebody does something good. Anapaswa kutendewa nini? What is he supposed to receive? Maana hilo ndilo swali ambalo mfalme aliuliza. Because that's the question that the king asked. Hapo nyuma mfalme huyo alifanya karamu. You know, uh, before that the king had a banquet. Kama ile utafanya leo. Just like the one that we are going to have tonight. Na watu wakala na kunywa na kufurahi. And people came and ate and they were merry. Na paka tokea mgongano kidogo kati yake na mke wake. And there was a, a certain conflict between him or disagreement between him and his wife. Na baada ya hii huo mgongano kuisha. And when they resolved their differences. Tunakuja sasa uh, hapa sura ya sita. If we come to chapter number six. 
Andiko anasema na moyo wa mfalme ukao umefurahi. So now the conflict is over and the heart of the king was uh, merry or he was happy. Maana kumepatikana jawabu. Because there is a solution. Na siku moja akiwa ametulia usiku akakosa usingizi. And one day when he was just resting he could not sleep. Na ikabidi kije kitabu kama vile leo labda diary ama pale umeandika mambo yako muhimu so he wanted to have a journal so a book of chronicles where they write some events kwa hiyo akawa anaangalia angalia mambo gani muhimu yaliyotokea so he was trying to browse and check what have happened a significant event of the past na ikaonekana kumbe wakati mmoja zamani and it was uh, uh, he discovered that uh, uh, a while ago or a while uh, some time back watu wawili walikuwa wamekusudia kumuua two people has conspired or has conspiracy to kill him unajua hasa wale ambao mmetoka africa ama kujua mambo ya africa mara nyingi rais walikuwa wanapinduliwa mara kwa mara you know, if you come from some places like africa and other places you know like there sometimes there is like a coup d'etat na hata ukisoma katika agano la kale wafalme walikuwa wakipinduliwa mara kwa mara. And if you read in the Old Testament you see like sometimes they will overthrow the government. The kings were not permanent. Sometimes their government were overthrown. Na kwa kawaida. And in, uh, in under normal circumstances. Ukimpindua mfalme if you overthrow the king. Ni lazima umuue. You have to kill him. Kwa sababu usipomuua if you don't kill him haiwezi kwenda vile. It won't be pieces you Lazima kuwe na shida. There is some problem. Kwa hiyo wale watu hata wale wanaopindua serikali ya Tokangara za Afrika za zamani wengi waliopinduliwa ilikuwa wanauawa. Yeah, and if you check even the history whenever there was the overthrow of the government the king the previous king must be killed. Na nilikuwa najiuliza kwa nini wafalme walikuwa wanauawa? And I was asking myself why did they kill them? Lakini nikajua ni kwa sababu ukiwa mfalme unapakwa mafuta ya kifalme. But I come to discover that when you are a king you are anointed you have an anointing of kingship. Na kwa kawaida ukipakwa mafuta mafuta huwa hayarudi. You know sometimes when you are anointed the anointing cannot be removed. Kupakwa mafuta ni kitu cha milele na ufe nacho. You know when you are anointed you are anointed for life. Na Mungu hawezi kuchukua upako kwa mtu mmoja ampe mwingine maana yeye hatoi second hand za mitumba. And you know God does not transfer anointing from one person. He has original because he does not do like Akikuchagua ana yako ya kukupa. If he appoints you he has a fresh na anointing. Anaenda anaenda na yake iliyochaka. And the one who is going you will die with your old anointing. Sasa mafuta na mafuta haviwezi kukaa mahali pamoja. So anointing and anointing cannot stay in the same path a place. Hivyo lazima akipinduliwa angeuawa ili kuwe shwari. So that's why they killed them so that we have peace. Ndio unaona wakati wa Sauli na Daudi kulikuwa na mvutano mkubwa sana kwa sababu Sauli alipakwa mafuta na Samuel amepakwa mafuta kwa wakati mmoja. Because you see like during the time of of King David and King Saul so, there was a conflict because there are two people anointed at the same time hallelujah amen na huyu mfalme ina maanisha angelipinduliwa angeuawa and the, back to our book here the king if he was overthrown then he could have died na uwezekano wa yeye kutokupinduliwa ulikuwa mdogo and the, the chances that he could survive was very slim kwa sababu waliokuwa wamepanga walikuwa ni walinzi wake Uh, because the people who conspired to overthrow him they were his bodyguard or people who were very close Kilo asali wanasema kikulacho kinguoni mwako Is it so he is saying they kikulacho kinguoni mwako Somebody who want mtu anataka kukuumiza na uko na yeye Somebody who will hurt you is somebody who is very close to you Hivyo kumwepuka ni vigumu maana anajua ukitoka anajua ukiingia. So it's very hard to to get away because they know you are scheduled. They know when you come in. Na mtu mmoja ambaye alikuwa hajulikani sana Mordecai. There was a guy who was not very famous. He was a known guy. Alikuwa pale kwenye lango lakini alikuwa ni mtu mdogo. His name was Mordecai. He just stayed by the gate but he was not popular. Na akajua. And he heard that plan akaenda kwa mke wa mfalme Esther and he went to uh, the wife of the king Esther maana alikuwa ni mmoja wao because they, they were related akamudokezea and uh, he said to her kuna kitu kinaendelea there is a certain plot na mfalme akachunguza and the king was trying to na ikajulikana observe and he, he found like it was true na si unajua ukitaka kuua mfalme ukijulikana vina wewe unafanywa 
And you know very well, if you want to kill the king and they find out, you know what they will do to you. Basi, so they were killed. Mfalme akawa salama. So the king was safe. Na baada ya miaka mingi imepita, after many years, kwenye kuangalia angalia akagundua akakumbuka. Hey, when he was going through those books, he remembered. Akaona Mordecai aliniokoa maisha mahali. This guy Mordecai, he did something to save my life. Kama si yeye singekuwa hapa. If it was not for him, then I would have been dead. Na akauliza. And he asked. Wale watu wa karibu. He asked the, his his Huyu mtu nimesoma hapa. The guy that I'm reading here. Alitendewa nini? What did you do to him as a reward? Na ikaonekana hakutendewa chochote. And it seems like uh, nothing was done. Iliisha tu hivyo hivyo. Uh, we just uh, everything yeah. just dissolved. Yaani fikiria umealika mgeni kwako. Can you imagine that you invite a guest to your house? Ukampikia chapati na vitu vingine vingine. And you make chapat for them and for other all other good stuff. Akala akashiba. And he eat or she eat and she's full. Alafu anasema na nimechelewa. And say you know I'm late I'm leaving. They don't Lasi, say lazima ushukwe ni mshangao. You, you have to be surprised like this guy. Hata kama ni mume wako. Even if this guy is a husband. Baka ujiulize. Oh your wife you have to ask yourself. Who ni al-shabab? Is this al-shabab? ama boko haram oh boko haram kwa sababu ukila because when you are eat umetendewa kitu kizuri somebody have made you a favor utasema asante you must say thank you lakini ukichomoka umechelewa but if you are just wiping your mouth and you are living like you are late na ni vile umeshiba and because now you are full you feel like you are late. now you find that you are late wakati ulikuwa na njaa when you are hungry ulikuwa huo ni saa you don't see the clock lazima tujiulize we have to ask ourselves sasa huyu hakutendewa chochote. So Mordecai, nothing was done to Mordecai. Japo alifanya jambo kubwa. Although Mordecai saved king's life. Na akauliza. And the king asked. Ni nani mwingine yuko karibu? Who else? Ikaonekana Haman alikuwa karibu naye ameingia. Oh, uh, Haman was nearby. Kwa mipango yake. He came for his own with his own Na akaambiwa aitwe. And he said, "Call Haman." Akaja. So Haman came in. Akamuuliza. He asked him. Maana huyu alikuwa kama anayemfuata. So this was like next to him in authority. Akamuuliza. He asked Kama mfalme akitaka kumfanyia mtu kitu kizuri kumheshimu. If the king want to do something good for a man that Unafi- he honors. Unafikiri afanyiwe nini? What do you think that the king should do to the person that he really Na Haman kwa kuwa alikuwa na roho ya kujipenda. And because Haman he was selfish man. Akapiga hisa mara moja. He thought. Unajua watu wote wenye kujipenda. You know every time when you have somebody who is self self what? selfish. Akikuona tu. When they see you. Anaanza fikiri vile vitu anaweza kutoka kwako aweko kwake. They just feel like what they can get from you and or transfer to themselves. Kwa hiyo alipoona ameitwa na akaulizwa So when he was called and say hey the king want to honor somebody who is very special Aka what can be done to him? Mimi. he say it's me now <laughs> sasa akachagua vile vitu vizuri vizuri so vizuri. he selected those good stuff that you like Vika, to be accomplished so that they can come to him basi akasema vile atafanywa so he said they do this to him kama tulivyosoma hapo just as we read mfalme akamwambia and the king say na hayo yote umesema everything that you have asked lisipungue hata moja let it be a full measure hivyo ni sawa nimekubali just do exactly what you have sasa said. mfalme hajui huyu amefanya kwa nia yake so the king was not aware that haman was asking for himself lakini mfalme amefurahi kupata idea but the king was happy that this guy kwa sababu alikuwa amesema kwa nini huyu mtu aliniokoa na hakufanywa kitu because in his heart he was a little bit concerned this man did everything to save my life and nothing was kuna makosa yametendeka hapa i think something is not right na mimi ni mfalume and i am the king nataka kutubu i want to repent na unajua kutubu ni kutengeneza you know repentance is uh, making right ni kutengeneza kule uliharibu. It's going and fixing what you have messed up. Kwa hiyo akataka mashauri ni mtu kama andi kitu gani kinaweza kwa kizuri cha kufanywa kuliko vile nafikiria akaunganisha mawazo. So I want some more ideas how can I repent well? What should I do to redeem myself? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na likatendeka hilo kwa Mordecai. And it was done that to Mordecai. Ukienda kusoma nyumbani utajua kwamba Haman alikuwa anataka Mordecai awawe If you go and read you find like Haman was plotting to kill uh, Mordecai. Mordecai 
na hata kuja kwake pale alikuwa amekuja pale kwa nia ya kuunganisha huo mpango and even his presence that day was for trying to make sure that the plot come i mean you can succeed if you are pale pa kungojea kuingia kuona mfalme akasikia ameitwa so when he was waiting to go see the king to uh, enhance his uh, corrupt plan then he was called in na mambo yakabadilika and everything changed akaambia ukafanya hivyo hivyo kwa yule mtu kumbe ni nataka kwenda kumhangamiza he said the, the guy that you wanted to kill now go do the same that you have asked me to do to the guy who sasa turudi nyuma kwenye kwenye maelezo yetu hapa so let's go back to our story mfalme anauliza katika mstari wa 6 in verse number 6 the king is asking ikiwa mtu ametenda jambo zuri if somebody has done a commendable job ni nini anapaswa atendewe what is it that they are supposed to be given as an honor maana tunaishi katika maisha ya watu kuishi na watu because we live with people na watu wanatendea mazuri and people do good stuff na sasa nikujiuliza and we need to ask ourselves huyu mtu ametendea mambo mazuri this person has done this and this for me anapaswa kutendewa how can i respond maana kuna mtu alifanya jambo kwa ajili kwenye maisha because there's somebody who did something ukaingia hapa marekani tulipoingia hakuna mtu alikuja ni mgeni mara ya kwanza anasema marekani ndio hiyo yeah, you see like you came to america and somebody did something for you you came here and they say wow this is america honga jito hata airport you could not even get yourself from the unaangalia airport hii hey, hii siaona you check the airport like wow wow this is na wengine mara ya kwanza kupanda ndege siku hiyo umeingia Some of us it was the first time to board a plane. Anakuja, anakuchukua. Somebody is coming and picking you from the airport. Anakuweka kwenye gari yake. Get in my car. Anakupeleka nyumbani kwake. Take you to the airport. Unaoga bure bila kulipia. You take a shower with no payment. Unakula bila kulipia. You eat with no payment. Unalala pale bila kulipia. You sleep there free. Wiki mbili wiki tatu. No, two or three weeks. Anakuonyesha muji. He shows you the, the, the Unafanikiwa fanikiwa. And now you start getting Sasa better. unaanza kujua mji. So you know you know the streets. Unatoka sasa kijijini umeingia mjini. Now you have come from your village now you are in the city. Sasa here. unajua kuwika. Now you can uh, shout. Na huyu mtu aliyekutendea mema. And this guy who did all this Anapaswa kutendewa nini? What are you supposed to do to pay back? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ukapata ka visa? You got a visa? Na tiketi ya ndege hujui hata inalipwa wapi. And you don't even know how to get your air f- fare to America. Lakini mtu akakwambia nenda hapo kwa kwa, kwa ka cyber. Uh, somebody got to go to the cyber cave. Fungua hapo nimelipa. Open there you get I send you Ukapata somebody. tiketi. You got a ticket. Unakwenda unakwenda umeingia Marekani. Oh you came to America. Na sasa hata unaendesha kagari. And now you can even drive your own car. Kazuri kuliko yule aliyekukaribisha. Even a better car than the your host. Kazuri kuliko yule alikulipia tiketi. Even a better car than the person who paid for your fare. Uko, hata hajapanda ndege. Somebody maybe gave you something he had never even been in a place. Alikuswa tu ni Mungu akakutikatia tiketi hiyo ukaenda ngambo yeye akabaki kijijini. Maybe the person who financed your ticket never went even to America. He just felt the touch of God to be. Yuko kwenye matatu. He's uh, there in the commuter bus. Wewe uko kwenye gari yako. You're in the car, your own personal car. Mtu akutendea mema. If somebody does something good Anapaswa for you. Anapaswa kutendewa nini? What are you supposed to do to that person? Katika kitabu cha Yohana sura ya 3 mstari wa 16. In John chapter 3 verse number 16. Mustari unasema hivi. The Bible says John 3:16 I think everybody knows that scripture. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Maana wote kwa tumebeba mzigo. All of us who are carrying heavy uh, heavy loads. Na huo mzigo sio kupa uzima. Uh, and that 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 garbage that we are carrying or luggage was not to give us eternal life lakini mungu yuko pale anatufikiria but god was thinking about us na anasema nitatoa huyu mtoto wangu wa pekee you know what i'm going to give my only begotten ili aende aokoe mtu huyu so that he can go and save this yes ndio anaacha mbinguni you know jesus left anakuja anaingia msalabani he came and hang on the cross anapigwa tunaelewa wote and he was beaten na anakufa and he died anafuka anaenda and he rose again and he ajili yetu akalipa deni so that he may pay our our a debt sisi ndio tumekula na alipe mwingine we are the one who ate 
and the bill goes to somebody else. Kwa kawaida anayekula ndiye anastahili alipe. Ana normal circumstances the person who eats McDonald's he's supposed to pay from their own pocket. Na ukilipiwa lazima uonekane una una nizamu. And when somebody pays for you you must be respectful person. Maana kama una nizamu anaweza sema alipa. If you are going with somebody and you don't respect them okay, you know pay for yourself. Sasa hapo utakuwa tena ni matatizo. Kwa inabidi sasa ukubali ndio maana ukiwekeka hoteli umenunua chakula mara nyingi unatakiwa kuwa unaitikia na sikusema. You know when you go to a restaurant with somebody and they are buying you food you should not be talking you should say yes. You just say yes. 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 Maana mwenye kununua ndiye anaweza kuongea. Because the one who is paying has the voice he can say something. Na wakupokea ni kuitikia. And the one who is receiving your job is just say yes and no. Na zambi tumefanya sisi amelipa Yesu. And we sin and Jesus paid for us. Kama yeye ametenda mema. If he did good for us. Mtu huyu anapaswa kutendewa nini? What should we do for him? Haleluya. Amen. Katika kitabu kile cha Yohana sura ya 14, in John chapter 14, ngoja tuseme tuone vile maandiko yanasema pale. John 14, let us see what the Bible tells us. Nikiangalia ni, mstari wa 15 unaweza tusafsiri moja kwa moja. Okay, uh, verse number 14. Mkinipenda mtazishika amri zangu. If you love me you shall honor my commandments. Mkinipenda mtazishika amri zangu. If you honor me you will honor my commandments. Na nikisoma nikiruka mstari huo wa 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 Yohana 14. Yohana 14 nne nikienda mstari wa 21 na moja, when i go to verse 21 the same john chapter 14 anasema yeye aliye na amri zangu na kuzishika he who has my commandment and keeps them yeye ndiye anipendaye it is he who loves me naye anipendaye and who loves me atapendwa na baba yangu will be loved by my father nami nitam ni, nitampenda and na kujidhihirisha kwake and he manifest myself to him maana mungu ametendea mema god has done good to us na ni sisi, sisi nasi baada ya kutendewa mema and when we receive we are recipients of those good tunastahili kufanya nini kwake we, what are we supposed to how are we supposed to respond wakati yesu alikutana wakoma 12 when jesus met those 12 lepers katika luka sura ya 17 in luke chapter 17 aliwaponya he healed them maana walisema turehemu mwana mwana wa daudi jesus son of david have mercy on us na yesu akawarehemu and Jesus had mercy akawaambia nendeni mkajionyeshe he said go and show yourself na waliona wamepona kweli and they found themselves healed mmoja tu ndiye alirudi only one came back to jesus akasema asante umenisaidia and said, jesus thank you you have na yesu akauliza swali and jesus asked wale wengine tisa wako wapi those nine where are they the left nine where are they wao hawakupona we are not all healed maana mtu akikutendea mema because if somebody does you a favor anapaswa kutendewa nini what is your response to kuacha watu na kwenda you just leave and go mfalme aliuliza the king asked mtu huyu alitenda mema ametend alitendewa nini this person who saved my life what was it done to na me? sisi bwana mema aliyotendea ni nini tunasaidi kutenda kwake and for us that jesus died for us and did all us this favor and saved us what are we supposed to do how are we supposed to respond maana yesu akasema mtu akinipenda atazishika amri the bible say that jesus said if somebody loves me he would I keep my commandments. Ni rahisi kuimba Yesu nakupenda Yesu nakupenda. It's easy to sing I love you Jesus I love you Jesus. Rahisi kuambia watu mimi napenda Yesu mimi napenda Yesu. It's very easy to tell people I love Jesus I love Jesus. Lakini tukija katika masuala yenyewe. But when we come to the real matter. Yesu naye akasema mtu akinipenda. Jesus says if anyone loves me, amri zangu. He must keep my commandments. Aliuliza Petro mara tatu Petro ananipenda. Uh, he asked Peter. Petro nasema mimi nakupenda hata wewe unajua nakupenda. He asked Peter Do you love me say yeah. I love you you Jesus Yes I come be akini unani akatukwasa kalo unanipenda kweli wewe Do you really love me Hata wao unajua mimi nakupenda You really know that I love you 
lakini asambia kama unanipenda really kuna kitu cha kufanya ndicho kitaonyesha upendo there is something that you need to do that will manifest the love that you have for me kalishe kondoo zangu go and feed my sheep kafanye kifu. kazi nayo ni husu go and work for me ni mambo mangapi tunafanya kuonyesha kuwa kweli mungu huyu umetendea vizuri tunasema asante how many things do we do how many uh, how, how do you do things and uh, what do we do to prove to god that really this is our god he has loved us and we are his children maana kuambia yesu nakupenda ya mdomo yesu alikataa because just coming and say Jesus I love you just uh, empty talks Jesus say no to that Yes I'll say ma unanipenda kweli wewe You really love me Maana hii ni maneno It's easy to talk Na maneno hata wao wanasema mkono mtupu haurambwi <laughs> And so he says mkono mtupu haurambwi Like if you, you have nothing then <laughs> you don't have anything in your hands nobody can get anything you can just give people empty promises. Kama hakuna hakuna If there is nothing there is nothing. Na kama iko iko. And if it's there it's there. Lakini kama iko lazima tuione. But if it's there we have to see. Kama haiko tutasikia tu habari. If there is nothing we just hear about. Lakini it. ikiwepo tutaiona. But if something is there we will really see. Ni nini tunafanya kuonyesha Mungu akiangalia aone aseme na kweli umenipenda. What do we do that God can be proud and say yeah that is my daughter. Maana rahisi kusema napenda. Because it's very easy to say I love. Lakini Bwana Yesu naye anauliza. But Jesus is asking. Kama mnanipenda mtazishika amri. He saying if you love me you keep my commandments. Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana kama Bwana ametenda mema Uh, if God has done you well. Ukitendewa mema, if somebody does good to you. Ni mpaka usikie umetendewa mema. You have to feel that thing. Huyu mfalme hakukumbushwa. This uh, king, he didn't need a reminder. Mordecai hako na kusema unakumbuka mimi kama sio mimi. <laughs> Mordecai did not go and say, "King, if it was not me, ye yeah, mwenyewe mfalme ndiye alikumbuka." It was the king initiative like, "Hey, what was done to this man maana ametendewa because he received he was the respectant leo sisi wa kristo tumetendewa today we as christian nani, god has done for us na ni mpaka aliyotendea tukumbukshe unakumbuka so, unajua kama si mimi ngogo mekufa <laughs> and uh, we are recipient of god's favor but sometimes we have to wait until god come and remind you if it was not me for me you could have been die mpaka aseme ndio sasa sema oh you have to come and speak and then now oh yeah 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 ndio sema sasa tuwae tuwae kanisani sasa kwa sababu Mungu sasa ametukumbusha you have to go to church now early because we just get reminded by God toa sadaka toa sadaka utabariki wandio sasa you come to church and say give give will be blessed oh, okay 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 let me give tufanye kazi ya Mungu tutalipwa ndio ndio tunatoa kwa sababu tutafanya kwa kwa tutalipwa you see if you serve God God will pay you back you know now I'm going to give because God's going to be giving back kupenda kuzuri ni kwa aliyetendewa akikumbuka you know the beautiful part is when somebody has been have received the favor and by their own initiative they recognize say thank you tutakapokuja kwa Mungu kwambie na Mungu tumekuja when i come to god i say god i have come ile umetutendea imetuleta because what you have done for me has pushed me to come to kuna you. watu wengi tunakuja kwa kwa tunataka kutendewa So so many people come because they have a need they want God to do something Tunakuja maana tumejipenda tunataka kutendewa We come like Haman I, I have love I have so self love centered that I come I want God to do something Maana alikuwa Haman tayari ni wa pili kutoka kwa mfalme Yo the Haman was the second person from the king Lakini hakuona hiyo But he didn't see like that was a big thing Alikuwa anapambana na walio wadogo kina Mordecai He was fighting with those who were under privilege like Na bado akiona mfalme anataka tena And when he see the king he want more from the king. Mara nyingi tunapenda kwa kwa kuna vitu tunapenda. You know sometimes you love God because he can do stuff for us. Kuna vitu nataka kutendewa ndio sasa unaona tuko I have some needs. I have some needs so I'm pressing Mana on. Maana tunataka kupata. I need some more. I need Mungu more. Mungu nipatie hii. God give me this. Mungu nisaidie hii. God help me. Ni hapa. Oh God come Hata here. Hata kesho. Even tomorrow. Unibariki. Bless me. Sasa nataka. I want something. Then I want to come to heaven. 
Na hatukumbuki kule Mungu alitendea. And we don't remember where we came from. Tuje tuseme asante hapa umeleta asante. You know that God thank you. I was in that place you have brought me. Maana kuna so vitu Mungu alitenda vinatosha sisi kutusukuma. There are so many things that God has already done which can keep us motivated to come to him. Tuko hai na wengine wamekufa. We are alive and people are Hata kama tusipoenea kesho. Even if we don't see tomorrow. Tukafa leo wote. We die today all of Hata us. Hata yeye kwenda huko nyuma si tulikula. We have been there yesterday and the day before so we have been tuna hasara. We cannot say like we Tunaona tulivyokuwa navyo na tulivyokwisha kupewa hatuoni. We just focus on what we don't have and forget about all stuff that God has given. Na hivi Mungu ametenda vinatutosha sisi kutotosha kabisa kusema Mungu tuna sababu za kutosha za kusema asante na kubakisha change. Hallelujah. And you see, all what God has done is big enough to say thank you to Jesus and keep the change. Ikiwa atataka tena tuna vingine vya kusema asante hata hivi. He want some more gratitude. We can go back and tell yeah. There are some more here. We have some Mana more. Mana ametendea mazuri. God has done so much. Tuko America? We are in America. Na tumekuwa Africa. And we were in Africa. Na tumekuwa America. And we have been in Africa. Na kuna watu wako Africa. And we have some people in Africa. Hawajakanyaga America. They have never been to America. Na America. And some people have been in America. Hawajakanyaga Africa. They have never been to America. Tukienda mbinguni tuko mbele. When we get to heaven, we are ahead of the game. Tuna sababu za kutosha kumwambia Bwana asante na kubakisha chake. We have all reason to give God glory and to have even more than enough. Watu wamekufa na corona. People have scumbled to COVID-19. Na sisi tuko tumeishi. And we are here living. Na wengine mtu ameumwa. And some of us will get sick. Na amepona. And they get healed. Tuna sababu za kutosha kumwambia Mungu asante na kubakisha chake. We have all the reason to say thank you Jesus and keep the change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana Mungu aliyofanya ni makubwa. Because what God has done is so much. Kujuana na Mungu. To to be in connection. Yaani wewe kujuana na Mungu. You see like God is our friend. Yaani ukaa unajuana na Mungu. You see you know God in personal level. Yaani hata shetani akitaka kufanya chochote tu unaona hata sangio mwambi unakaa tu staili ya one kama unajuana na Mungu. You see sometimes when the devil want to attack you you don't even need to shout you just want him to know like God and I we are best. Unajua mimi sasa ningine sema shetani shindwa. You know sometimes we keep on casting demons. Sasa ningine simwambia gishindwa. I don't hear hey, you rebuke you devil. Sasa ningine namwambia gafanya vile unaweza kufikiri unaweza kufanya. Sometimes I just say do whatever you think you can do. Maana Yesu yuko hapa. Because Jesus is with me. Ile tu kuelewa. It's just the matter of understanding. Ile tu kuelewa. It's just matter of understanding. Ile tu kuelewa. It's a mindset. Na ndio mimi naambiaga watu kuja kanisani na kufundishwa neno ni baraka kubwa. I'm telling you coming to church and getting the revelation of the word of God is a great mystery. Haku na kitu kibaya kuliko kuwa mujinga. There's nothing bad like being stupid. I'm yeah. no sorry. Be what? Foolish in the word of God. Yaani unakosa ufahamu. That you are ignorant. Yeah. Hey, kukosa word. ufahamu. Uh, you are ignorant. Hakuna kitu kibaya kama kukosa ufahamu. There's nothing bad like being ignorant. Kosa pesa You, it's better that you are broke. Kosa chochote. It's better to lack Lakini everything. Lakini uwe na ufahamu. But have knowledge. Lakini ukapata vyote na huna ufahamu. But if you have everything and you don't have wisdom, utakimbizwa. You be running. Utakimbizwa. People will be chasing you. Wakati nasoma shule, when I was in sc- uh, going to school, tukiwa darasa la pili. When I was standard 2, I was not born. Zamani hiyo. <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> Ulikuwa mdogo mdogo lakini ulikuwa mzee mdogo mdogo shuleni. You were very very lucky. Nikuwa I was in standard 2. Na tulikuwa vijana wadogo wadogo. And we were young boys. Na kulikuwa na dada mwingine wa darasa la 6. And there was a sister who was in standard 6. Alikuwa dada mkubwa. She was a little bit Lakini tulimuona ni muoga muoga. But we thought like she was a coward. Kengele ikigongwa jioni. Uh, whenever they ring the bell ya kwenda nyumbani unakumbuka kule shule nilikuwa kiwanja alafu mashamba kule kupanda mlima ya yeah, ndio this was like a plain and then there were some hills and the homes sasa kule ndio kwa kuenda nyumbani so you go over the hill i mean over those uh, hills tunamutisha so we we can't like scare her anaanza kukimbia she starts running away tunakimbiza tunakimbiza we'll be chasing her anakimbia anakimbia hiyo kiwanja yote 
and she ran all and she goes up to the hills and you know if she could have stood we are the one to run away from her Mana tuadongo. We are very little. Lakini mana amekimbia. But because she took off. Tuko tunangoja Masai tafika saa ngapi? We are just excited about no mkubwa. We are excited about that even when the bell will ring. Ukiwa uelewi una shida kubwa. If you don't have knowledge you are in trouble. Na hata kuna mashetani saa nyingine yanashituaga unakuta mtu anahangaika eh mchungaji sasa ni <laughs> and you know there are some demons that like to scare you and when you are scared you just oh pastor pray for me pastor and it's just a demon trying to scare you it's little demons and you are running away. Na yataki hata kuita jina la Yesu nikusumbua Yesu saa nyingine nikuangalia tu and some demons you don't need to call the name of Jesus it's just disturbing Jesus just look at him kuangalia tu ikutana na macho yako ikimbie you just look at that demon the demon will take off maana itajua hai ameniona he say hey he have seen me afadhali tukimbie i better run away lakini tunahangaika we are in trouble kwa sababu yako tukujua because we know vizuri kujifunza neno la Mungu it's good to learn the word of god na kujiuliza maswali wenyewe and ask ourselves huyu Mungu haya mambo ametendea all this stuff that god has done nini nimemfanyia what have i done what how have i done nini nimefanya kwa ajili ya huyu Mungu what have i responded how have i responded to kwa sababu kuna vitu nimeona ametendea because i can really see nini nimemtendea na mimi how have i responded what have i done sio kumlipa Not to pay him. Kumuonyesha kwamba kweli nimetambua umefanya kitu. Just to acknowledge that God I acknowledge your presence in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata ukisomesha mtoto wako, uh, if you take your child to school, halafu akaf, akafika mahali amefanikiwa, and they may they become such such Utaona anakuheshimu anaona unahusika. He, he, he started respecting you and then Ama sasa yuko busy sana hata ukipiga simu hapigi hapokei and, some, and sometimes this they may become very busy they don't even pick hata up akiona umepiga hawezi kukupigia kurudisha simu when he, when he see you are miss call then he go like i can't Mana sasa back. yuko busy because now they are busy lakini sasa leo ulikuwa una, unahangaika na kile kikapo wa kubeba kwenye kapo sasa hiyo anaona wewe huko busy cha kufanya you see but that time when you are carrying him in that uh, basket or whatever or you are working hard they did not see like they were very busy they cannot talk to you but now they have su- su- all success they think like i cannot even return the call saa ile alikuwa anakuja kuuliza hapa tufanyeje you know sometimes go what do you do here daddy what do you do here mom sasa amejua anaona eh azamani hii he now he has uh, analog age and say you know what oh that's you are analog i'm digital i don't need to ask you mtu akutendea jambo jema when somebody Do us something good. Unapaswa kutendea kumtendea nini? What are you supposed to do for this? Maana ndio Mungu atakayo anayotaka kuona. Because this what God wants to see. Kwamba tumesimama kukutambulisha kwamba kweli Mungu tunakutambua umetusaidia. Because uh, all what God wants is for us to stand and show the world that we acknowledge. Daudi alikuwa mfalme mwenye kila kitu. David has was a king with everything that Lakini alisema Mungu kama si wewe But he said God if it was I singe fika hapa uh, I could not come where I am Kwa vita uh, for Kwa vita battle, Kwa vita Kwa bat for Daudi alikuwa yuko sawa You know ba- uh, David was a man of war Hakuna mtu angemrudisha nyuma He was not he was fearless Hakuna mali angeingia He was fearless lakini anapokeuka kwa Mungu anasema kama si wewe. But he goes hey God if it was not. Hawa sio hata wangeniua. It's not like oh my enemy could nikiwa hai. Kill me. They could have swallowed me alive. Wangenira nikiwa hai. They could have eaten me alive. Unaona wale wanyama nakulaga wanyama wakiwa hai? You have you seen those uh, wale mbwa mtu mbwa mtu? Well, they like um, uh, fox they eat other animals when they are. Hawangoji mnyama afe wanaanza kula akiwa hai. They don't wait for the prey to die they eat while the prey is Na Daudi anasema Mungu kama si wewe wangenimeza hawa nikiwa mzima And David said God if it was not by your mercy Pale Mungu anatuinua Pale Mungu anatuinua tunafikia When God when God lifts us up lazima tu na wakati wa kugeuka We must turn around Na kuambia Mungu ni wewe umeleta hapa And say God it's by your grace that I am here Hallelujah Hallelujah Kabla kufanya mimi niambie unataka nikufanye nini Before I do anything let me know your heart What do you Unaona raha ukiwa hata umeenda mahali 
You see like when you go somewhere. Na mtu anakuuliza vile ungependa. And they ask you what do you like? Sasa nyingine hata wanaenda kunauliza utakula nini unavileta kula nini kupigia. They ask you oh our guests what do you want to eat today? I can fix something. Unajisikia kuheshimiwa. You see like you are respected. Maana umepewa nafasi ya kwanza. Because you are given the first chance. Hata Mungu anataka tumpe nafasi ya kwanza. Even God want to uh, to get uh, that first position in our priority. Wakati mwingine tunasahau. Sometimes we forget. Wakati mwingine tunasahau. Sometimes we forget. Tunaweka mambo yetu mbele. We, uh, we, we all put our our own personal agendas like the first priority. Nataka leo tujikumbushe. I want to remind you today. Lazima tubadilike. We have to change. Lazima kuchukua siti yetu ni ya pili. We have to understand that we Hakuna are. Hakuna vile tutakaa siti ya kwanza Mungu akiwa. We have akiwa. to be on the second seat because Apana. because the first nyuma. We have to sit and give Jesus. Bwana atakaa mbele. Jesus has to be our driver. Kule Afrika hatuna magari mengi. In Africa we don't have many cars. In Lakini kwa kawaida in reality kwa, kwa watu wa kawaida on common people like common wana wale wakubwa wenye mamlaka wanapenda kukaa hapa nyuma you see those people who have money and rich they like to sit on the second seat sijajua ni kwa nini i don't know why lakini nafikiri ni ili kikiumana wawe salama i think because they they perceive like when you have an accident let the driver die first i am the ila hiyo ni mimi ni maoni yangu i'm just thinking that's my own opinion but i don't know why lakini like kwa watu wa kawaida but for ordinary people wanakaa mbele they sit on the front haleluya yeah na hata kama mimi nimeenda na mtu niwaheshima Even if I go with somebody who I respect a lot. I want him to sit in the front seat and I sit at the back. And whenever we Tunaambia watoto wetu we rudi nyuma. If my parents come I'll tell my kids go as the back seat let my parents. Siwezi endesha gari na mama eh mtu mwingine amekaa hapa na baba akae nyuma. Utaenda nyuma. I cannot be driving my car with a stranger by my side and my father is sitting in the back you must Kama go back. Yuko na mini if my dad is in the car and i am driving mtu yoyote and a human being utaenda nyuma you have to sit on hapa anakaa baba dear sit my dad kwa sababu hiyo ndio heshima that is respect na unajua kutoka mungu yuko mzazi yuko pale and you know from god the next level is our parents sasa tukaje mimi na wewe hapa na baba huku nyuma how so how can we sit in lazima mmoja wetu aruke nyuma haraka one of us have to go back na baba aje hapa mbele and switch seat with our dad hata mimi watoto wangu wakinichukua na gari even when my kids pick me wanarukaka nyuma na kujaga tu kwanza na kujaga moja kwa moja kuka hapa mimi na kujaga moja kwa moja when my kids are driving i just come and sit in front they know they have to go na kuja uh, moja kwa moja i just come i know my seat na mungu naye tutamweka wapi where do you keep your car in your car kama sisi wa kawaida baba wa kawaida unawekwa mbele If our only natural dads they have a respect to sit on the front. Je, kwenye maisha yetu huyu Mungu naye anakaa seat gani? Oh, where is God in your life? Which seat is he? Front row, second row, middle or the back? Lazima tumpe nafasi ya kwanza. He has to be on the front row. Shughuli zetu nyingine zote zitafuata nyuma. Everything every other thing should follow. Lakini ya Mungu kwanza mbele. We have to seek first the kingdom of God. Kama huna uchaguzi If you don't have an option Ninajua I understand Kuna watu wengine lazima uende kazini leo Jumapili I understand like some of you have Tuko to work on lazima uende kazini When you finish service you have to go to work Mazingira ya ugenini haya Yeah I know this is a for Lakini way. wengine But some of us Hata huko kwetu Even back in Africa Ni duka lako is your own shop Lakini unakwenda kufungua saa ya ibada But you go and open your shop the time of Alafu tukipita tunatuambia mkaniombe And when we are passing say go pray for me Na mimi nikifika nitaomba And when I go there at the church I'll pray for you Kwa kweli nitaomba But I really pray Niseme barabara ipanuliwe I say God can you extend the road constructions so that your kiosk will be swept away. Hallelujah Hallelujah Maana ni lazima Mungu apewe nafasi ya kwanza. You see God must receive the first priority in our life. Hatuwezi ona pesa ya wakati wa ibada. We cannot see like the money that we get during the time of service. Tukasahau kwamba tuna afya. We and then we forget like okay I'm getting the money during the time of service but you forget that you have a good health free from God. Na ungekuwa hospitali and if you were admitted in the house. Hiyo masaa ungechukua. You could not pick those hours. 
Unajua mtu akishakula akishiba. You know when somebody is full. Kwanza sasa ile yuko na njaa. When somebody is hungry. Anaongea kwa lugha nyingine. He he speak a certain language. Na akishiba. And when he is full. Utajua. You will know. Maana atabadilisha lugha. Because the language will change. Hata akiingia kwa ka hoteli. When he get to the restaurant. Anasalimia kila mtu. He greets everybody. Hey, How, how are you? Hey, How are you? Akishashiba when he is full. Basi anabadilisha lugha. He changes. Kama ana pesa. If he has money. Anasalimia kila mtu. If, if you don't have money you greet uh, everybody. Hata yule waiter habari waiter. Even the waiter how, how are you? Mbona nini? Hey, how are you doing? Akiingia ana pesa. But when you have money. Utaona amevuta kiti amekaa anauliza hamtai kuuza leo. He will just sit in the chair. Okay. Are you guys selling something today? Kwa sababu yuko vingine. Because he has money. Na mtu akishiba ana taabu. And when somebody is full he has so many. Lakini saa ile ana njaa. When he is hungry, ana adabu, utafikiri ameokoka hata kama hajaokoka. You see he is very respectful. You think he's born again even Aki if he's not born nyubani. again. Kwanza anasalimia mke habari mama. When when he gets home say how are you my wife? Watoto wako sawa? Are the children okay? Kuna chochote? Uh, do you have anything here in the house? Lakini kama ameshiba huko alikokuwa. But if he come he's full. Akijana sema amepanga pangaje vitu hapa hey! barabarani kila mahali. When he comes your husband comes and he has eaten somewhere. Hey this house is rough. Oh, oh, you... Kushiba kuna badilisha. You know when you are full your situation changes. Mtu akijana njaa kabisa. When somebody comes and he Umweke chakula. We we'll give them chakula. Anaanza kugonga moja kwa moja. They start eating. Kijiko cha kwanza first spoon cha pili second cha tatu third unajua ni kama gari kiwa haina mafuta you know it's like a car when it's empty on gas ukianza kuweka kwanza kama galoni mbili haipandishi you put like two gallons of gas the gauge iko tu kule kwenye nyekundu it's still on the red ikija saa galoni ya tatu yende ndio unaanza unaanza kubana the third gallon now you see the the na mtu wa kila kijiko kijiko cha kwanza cha pili cha tatu the spoon nothing the second nothing the third nothing chumvi kidogo Oh uh, when is the first now okay oh the salt is too much Ngoza chumvi kidogo I want some 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 more Anakula anakula ikifanya sana anasema na hicho kula ni kama kimepoa poa Ah you see when you eat like five spoons say that Maana sasa geji anaanza kupanda uh, This food is cold Saa nyingine ni vile Mungu ametupenda sana You see sometimes we are misbehaving because God has loved us so much Kwa sababu tunaona kila kitu kinaenda vizuri Because everything is going well Tukiomba tunajibiwa We pray and God answers us Basi kufunga ni mpaka majibu ya kat- So fasting now will only come when things are not going well. Lakini saa ile yako mazuri. But when everything is okay? Hatuwezi funga tuseme na yes Mungu tumekuja leo tumefunga. Ah we came fast and say God we are fasting we are coming because of Aseme unataka nini? He say what do you need? Tuseme ni kusema tu asante. I just want to fast and say thank you. Kwa hivi umetuleta. For how you have been. Yaani mpaka Mungu anauliza. Even God himself starts. Mtu huyu atendewe nini? What can I do for this guy? Maana tumejua kushukuru. Because we have come to the heart of kule kushiba kuna yani kushiba kuna tufanya tunasahau. You know when we are satisfied we we, we start Kifungua fridge juice. You eh? Uh? Kifungua fridge juice. Oh, when you open your fridge there's juice. Pana nyingine maziwa. Oh there's milk. Huko kidogo majani Kenya. Oh there's a tea leaves of Kenya. Okay mbona milo? Oh milo. Ba sasa hata ukifikiri unaona na sasa So you just thinking. Hata unachomoka kusema asante Yesu kuwa kwa mlango. You know even saying thank you is when you are out the door. Mara kila kitu kiko sawa. Ukitoka hapo nje gari iko hapo tunaingia. When you get outside there is a car park. Na nyingine tunaingiaga kwa garage. And some of us we go through the garage. Ukitaka kwa kufungua ni kuminya tu hapa inajifungua huko. You don't even tell somebody open you just press the button. Unachomoka unaminya inafunga ukienda. And then you get out you press the button the garage is shutting back. Na hayo yote ni mazuri. And all these things are good. Maana Mungu ametupa. God has given us. Lakini but wapi anakaa Mungu kwenye you, mipango yetu? Where do you keep God in your plans? Tutafika mahali tuseme. We have to come to a place and say. Ah, leo ni siku ya ibada na wanataka kuambia sasa kuna opening hapa na ina bonus ya 200. Hey, you you <laughs> have to come to a place like on Sunday they say it's time for service but there's a bonus with 200 dollars. I mean there's a opening with 200 dollars bonus. Inakuja kwenye simu pa You just come to your phone. Poop. Unasema sasa hata Mungu anajua. You know even God, even God knows himself. Na kweli anajua. A God knows. Ni vile ni Mungu. It's just because he's God. Ningekuwa ni kama mimi Mungu anipe tu niwe miezi sita. If God will make me God for six months only. Give me that position you are God for six months. 
peke yake. Six months only. Ningekuacha uende. <laughs> I will let you go to work. Ningekuacha kwanza uende. I will let you go to work. Afikiru tusome kasomo kazuri tu ambako utaelewa tu. We will come back and gonna mingi. talk. Have a good talk that you. Kuna only. lazima tujiulize na mtu akitenda mema atendewe nini. You have to ask yourself if somebody has done you a favor. Maana tuna watoto. We have children. Wakolewa umeolewa. You, you have been married. Wakuo umeoa. If you wanted to marry you. Wakufanikiwa umefanikiwa. If you want success you have already been. Lakini tukishafanikiwa tukakaa vizuri. Mfalme amekaa vizuri na anauliza. Mtu huyu atendewe nini? King was asking what shall be done to Mordecai. Hako anaongeza lolote Mordecai kwake. Mordecai did not even say a word. Hata kama hangemfanyia chochote bado angelea kwa king. Even if he could not do anything to Mordecai he was still the king lakini moyoni mwake anabeba mzigo but in his heart he was carrying masai nafika ya kubeba mzigo there are some times that you have to carry masai mefika ya kuangalia mwenyewe binafsi there are some times that you have to examine na kweli mungu amenitendea mambo mema you have to do a self inventory and say god has done kuna vitu tu ukiangalia utaona kweli mungu amenitendea there are some things that when you check hata tungeanza kuuliza moja moja hata wewe utasema na pale kama si mungu If I start asking I, you you will say if it was not God apostle <laughs> Kuna mahali nguvu yako inaisha Mungu anakuja anafanya There are some times that you run out of strength but God will come Na nina hakika zote ukijiangalia kwenye maisha yetu utakumbuka tu pale mahali Mungu ndiye alishikilia And if you examine your life you will find a certain time that it was the hand of God that rescued Maana vilikuwa vimetoka kwenye mikono yako Because everything was running out of control kwa hilo halitoshi kusema sasa Mungu wewe nimekuachilia kaa hapa. So for that reason we must tell God you sit on the front seat. Nienda kwa mtu mmoja. I want to visit a certain Na kweli niheshimu. And this guy really respect. Alitoka kwa rumu yake. He get out of his bedroom. Nikalala kwa rumu yake. And I slept in his bedroom. Nasi yalala kwa couch ama lala. I don't know where he slept in the couch or somewhere else. I don't know. Unaweza sema mtu hakukuheshimu? Can you say like this person did not? Ameangalia akaona huyu mtu kitu gani mpe alale hapa mimi nalalaga. Mtu akuondokea mahali analala amekuona wa maana. You see this person thought what should I do to this and he decided to leave his bed and if somebody will give you a place where you trade place where he he sleeps that person is really baba mzima alale kwenye kochi wewe umelala hapo kwa kitanda imagine a man going to sleep in the couch and give me labda amelala jikoni maybe the wife was sleeping in the kitchen na umelala kwa bahari wewe unaona hiyo ni kidogo do you think that's just simple? na mungu naye tutampa mahali gani pa kukatwaambie hapa mungu ni pale the best nimekupa And where do we tell God this is the best place I want you to sit? What is your best for God? Na hata Mungu akiangalia angalia aseme na huyu mtu kweli amenipa hapa best. Yeah, and God when he's thinking oh he's, he's thinking about it, saying oh wow this son of mine or daughter he has given me a, the best. Tukiokoka mara ya kwanza sema Mungu ni namba 1. When we get saved the first thing we say God is number 1. Tukakaa tunasema tutagawana. <laughs> After we stay for a while we say no. Ukae nusu na mimi nusu sogea sogea. 50 50 God. Tukakaa tunaambia sasa hata nimekaa vibaya unakaa ya tatu unakaa paka so, anakaa na atako moja karibu aanguke maana wewe umekaa So if you are sharing seat with Jesus the first time when you you get saved you say Jesus have everything After some time you say a half half 50 50 After some time you push him to 75 and the end he's just sitting on one butt he's hanging there because you are pushing so much Lazima tumpe Bwana nafasi ya kwanza. We must give God the first priority. Kama tutataka kufanikiwa tumpe want, Mungu nafasi ya kwanza. If you want to be successful, you must Katika maisha yako binafsi tumpe one. Mungu nafasi ya kwanza. You must give him number one. Useme vyote viende lakini hapa Mungu ukae hapa. I say everything can go but God has to stay here. Sisemi ni vibaya kuwa kwenye shughuli mbalimbali wakati wa ibada lakini jiulize. I'm not saying that it's bad for you to miss service and do other stuff. Naweza nisee kanisani maana nimeenda kufanya kazi ambayo haikuwa lazima. Sisemi najua huku America ninasema nimekaa hapa hakuna kitu kipya utaniambia sijui nini najua. I'm saying from my experience I have been here I know Yo what happened. Yoko piki sijui nini yote ninajua. I know how Zamani ulikuwa sijui lakini sasa nilijua. Yeah, while when I used to come as a visitor I didn't know but now I know. 
Kuna saa nyingine lazima ufanye maana usipofanya watakufukuza na lazima ufanye. There are sometimes you have to work on the weekend, you have to work on Sunday. Lakini na ile nyingine. If you don't do it, they will fire you. But there are some other times. Na ile. Eh, that time. Ile ile ile. Do you remember that time you picked those hours? Hiyo. Eh, and that one. Eh, hiyo ilikuwa lazima. It was not. Sinika bonus ilikupeleka. It was the bonus that. Mia. Yeah, 100 dollars. <laughs> Ah 200 unakataa angalia kwa moyo wako inasema ndio Check in your heart It was that bonus Nikupimanisha Mungu kumwambia sogea sogea nime umenibana sana He still goes move uh, scoot over God you are pushing Ngoja nimalize mimi nisiongee mambo mengi Let me finish so that I, I don't have to Mtu mmoja alikuwa anasafiri akabeba ndizi There's a guy who was traveling and he carried bananas. Na alikuwa ni mzee. And he was an old man. Unajua huko zamani hakuwa na McDonald's. You know um, a while ago they didn't have McDonald's that Uki time. Ukitembea safari ya siku mbili tatu unabijibebea chakula. If you are traveling for two or three days you have to carry your own food. Rehu ile chakula kujibebea. Na huyu alibeba ndizi zimeiva ndizi sita. So he carried six ripe bananas. Ameweka kwenye muti. He was carrying and Unajua anabeba gamuti bakora sasa imeweka hapo nyoo anakwenda. So he has this walk. Kwenda akutana kijana barubaru. He he met this guy. Kijana kama sasa ni habari mzee. He say hi man. Hey unaenda wapi? Where are you going? Kumbe ameona ndizi. He saw banana. Sasa anajua kuongea kuongea kuongelesha kwa mtu anataka mtu akiwa na ujanja na maneno mengi. He trying to befriend this man. Hey sasa na sasa kuna ndizi moja. Ah can I have one banana? Hey ndizi si nzuri na kabia. Mzee akasema kula moja lakini ni sasa safari kilo moja nyama akachukua moja. I say uh, you know what this is my food uh, it's like my lunch my dinner but you can take one so the guy took one. Akala ka moja. He ate that bread. Na bado anaendelea kuongea akapiga sura akapiga saka na mleza na ni nzuri hiyo. So he started talking to this man mm. my friend I say oh siniongeza kengine. Banana is so good can I add another one? Mm. Okay, just take one. Okay, there's the guy. Aka endelea tena ka story ka story ka story. Na atena akala nyingine. He ate another third one. Akana kama akala 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 paka saka baki mbili. And then there was only two left. Mwisho ikabaki moja. And then there was only one left. Mzee akamwambia hii sasa hii sikupi. Then the man said now this one. Ah kijana amengangana sasa kwa lazima anataka kuchukua kwa lazima. So he want to fight and get that one banana which was left. Asuna siku sita. And you know what? You have six days to work. Umekula ya Monday. You ate Monday. Umekula ya Tuesday. You ate Tuesday. Umekula mpaka ya Friday. You ate a Friday. Kala ya Saturday. You ate the Saturday. Uko kwenye mangano ya 7. Now you want the 7th Sunday. You want to finish up with the 7th day. Sunday. Tusimame tuombe Bwana akubariki. Stand up let's pray. Wow. Baba jina lako limidiwe. Father your name be glorified. Asante kwa ajili ya wema wako na rehema. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Siku hii Mungu umetupa tunene maneno yako. You have given us so God opportunity to Jina lako Bwana alihimidiwe kabisa. Your name be glorified. Ponya mioyo yetu. Ah uh, heal our heart. Ponya mawazo yetu. Heal our mind. Ponya njia zetu. Ah uh, heal our way. Na mioyo yetu baba tumeweka mikono mwako. In our heart we commit you. Utupe mema Mungu na utendee neema. Give us grace and do us. Uhimidiwe well. na uinuliwe Bwana. Be glorified. Tuaponyenyekea watumwa wako. When we humble ourselves before Katika jina la Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Bwana awabariki asante sana kwa kunisikiliza. God bless you.